Hey guys, the next day. Hey, 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 let's get into it. So, last time you saw me pushing into Italy, and as you can see through the fruits of danger, we have more or less won against them. From what I can tell, at least. So, we have the Tarim. So yeah, Bates just gonna clean them up now at this point, you know. So we're gonna grab this and then this. So in 12 hours, we'll have to rent. He'll be there in three. And we even got an additional dreadnought now too. Now, this Aragonese guy is my ally. That was a mistake. He is not building anything. So, yeah, I thought this guy could have been good or even decent, but he's not even building, boys. And that's sad, too, because I think initially he was, right? Yeah, he knows how to upgrade and all that. It's like stupid. Yeah, this is just sad. And as you can see, Jeremy's doing this stuff where they're taking Prague now, which is definitely worrisome. Um, at Stuttgart, I am building another... That's an artillery piece. What was it? Was it burn? It was burn. I was building one of these guys up. A uh, spy thing. Because someone said I should do it. And you know what? After a few days of deliberating, as in actually I have time to do it, I said, you know what? Why not? So, I don't know if my naval capabilities are that important in this match. I, I mean, of course they're important. But... Are they really though? Like, if I don't do it, would I actually lose? And it looks like we did take back Trent from that guy. The guy just need to be careful with this guy is all, because I do want to keep increasing my artillery so it has more range. Because look at this, he's sending his aircraft units in, his interceptors, which is bad. And once our level two air base is done later today, on top of the bomber research tomorrow, I should be able to actually start making bombers. So I actually have to find some air support for myself. Now, I don't know who I'd want to attack right now. You know? Wait, Republic of Venice. It's all Venice? Always have been. Interesting. So yeah, I'm kind of just want to play a defensive game here, increase my resource reduction and my defenses too. Also, I want to increase those because it's not that expensive to do it. No, 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 no. You know, ordnance factories. If I can get those up, I can make artillery at these places, like mobile artillery. I keep saying because I'm used to it, it's just artillery. It's not mobile. It's literally just artillery. Because if these are armored, and they can actually make these like big artillery pieces, or the mobile, can move them around, then when they go to invade me, they'll be screwed. Ideally, at least. Now, I can't say for certain that they will be, you know. Yeah, we have another Dreadnought, though, here at Trest. How much would I need to make the next one? Because I still like to have the best Navy in here, if anything. It's just a steel. It's the manpower that I'm worried about. Really. Let's go for it. Our fourth Dreadnought. Because I'm going to attack the French, but... I don't even know if that's a good call. So this is part of Hungary's thing. So I don't know if I'll win this because if they do push me and I'm defensive, they st it's still a 2v1, you know, at the end of the day. And that is something that is very hard to succeed against. But at least later 
in a few hours, I'll actually be able to make my commandos. You know? Actually, looking at this, I'm going to be able to make some artillery pieces if I want to make commandos. But hey, it would be like that. I think Romans calm down, right? Yeah, they wouldn't look certain. Same with Naples, actually. Same with these guys, so I can actually have them do. Because now they won't go uncertain. I think I can only go down here, right? And then leave? Yeah, because what's amphibious meant for, you know? Really just go in and take it. So yeah, if this all goes well, I should have Italy all captured by tomorrow. I do hate how Milan was taken from me by Turin, you know? But it happens like that. But yeah, this is like just us prepping up our defenses for the future. You know? And I'm happy that Sagar's gonna be done soon though. Because I'll probably move that over to Vienna, you know? Keep having these artillery pieces here, because if they push me, they'll do a lot of work. Because I'm just trying to keep an eye on them by upgrading these and all that. And I think... Oh, does the second update even get a sight increase? Uh, it's 90 right now. No G variant gets... The, yeah, it's not a sight increase. It looks like it's only really a speed one. But this is the one that gets it. That's like legit a 50% increase almost. 80 to 138. 80% is 160. So yeah, that actually is over a 30% increase. It's... 50% because 50% from 80 would be 120 so yeah that means I should be able to identify people like all the way up to like around here essentially where this outlier is where I can see them but not mark them now I should be able to sell it to Perlin that's insane actually for spy range wow but having that info would legitimately change the course of this war oh this guy's attacking too okay so I'm using the knowledge that this guy, see, from what I can tell me, is like a few buildings here. Not a lot built up. Which means he may not be actually ready to attack me. You know? So I'm... I don't want to kick out arrogant knees. But if I do, that's a rip from him. So let's see. How do these guys feel about us? Because someone told me that this popularity is how the country feels about us. So, I'm below average for them. And for the Kingdom of Hungary, it's even worse. I'm guessing it comes down to the border. And all that. Because we go to this random guy, I'm sure it's higher, right? Yeah. Because if they keep attacking, the AI will attack them. And that will completely obliterate them by having a ball too far more. See, so I'm kind of just waiting for these... Ordnance factory speed on so I can build things there. Or see if I can build like uh underground bunkers at some of these locations. Or fortresses as they're called. Because if we look at Max Little Fortress, right? I think it gives you like what 80% reduction or close to that. Yeah. You're basically invincible. And the thing is you can knock out like two fortress levels a day. So once it's done, I can get this started. Okay, so it doesn't even take anything I really need, from what I can tell. Which is really good for us. So once I get enough energy, I can just do that. So, what do I need to build my commandos, though? Steel. Manpower food. So steel's the only one that's a little bit worrisome. But besides that, we're basically fine. I can sell some gallons of fuel. Let's get them that much, and then I can go to energy. I can buy a little bit. Uh, yeah, let's buy that much. So wait, when this ordnance factory up here is done, I can literally just make a level two fortress. Is what y'all think I would do? Might still do it though, honestly. Uh, barracks takes a lot to build, surprisingly. Because to be fair, I do want all my cities to have at least a level 1 fortress, you know? And all that. So what's this one? I'm assuming that's Italian? Yeah, I'm about to say. Because down here I could start making units too if I had the supplies for it, but I don't. So Munich. You need to be increased. Bam. 
So look at that increase. It goes from 35 to 45. That may seem small, but that can change the tide of a battle. You know? So I can't see why the AI build purchases, because unlike Conflict, it doesn't take days to get the upgrades. It leaves like the same day. You know? So do you. Republic of Brittany. Nice. So yeah, I'm gonna make a tough choice here, in my opinion. I mean, this guy's leveled up though. More leveled up than me. But Burn does have a fortress, I believe, right? No, apparently not. Um. I'll probably send down Stuggert's AI towards Burn though. Like, I doubt it. Like, let's see. How's his people feel about me? Uh, it's slightly above average. They want to declare war on me. So yeah. Sunita and a burn. I think it's the right call here. Because of the attacks on this side, you know? I don't know. But I may have to kick him out because he's not... ...doing anything. Right, so, Germany is on right now. And he's moving his people towards here. Why? Is he, like, trying to find an airbase? I See, this makes me think Germany's not that great. I'm gonna kick out... Aragonese, though. Because as much as I like him, the info he's given and all that, the allied, you know, it's not the best, you know? Like, he's clearly not building up things, that's for sure. In fact, he's tied towards the bottom of the list now because of the way he's been doing war. So I gave him peace. Okay, so the Ottomans actually embargoed us. Apparently. You know, so these people are probably below average, right? If I had to guess. Yeah. So these people are like, hey, you're being too aggressive. Get embargoed. Okay, I see. So I kind of want to take this and this, but not right now. You know? Um, let's see. I mean, I know he sees this. I know his unit sees my mech here, whatever. Probably take an hour, right? Yeah, pretty minutes. But anyway, that's it for this video. I'll catch you next time. Have a good one. Peace.